Hello there guys and welcome back into of course yet again another review bros pre-workout review of a pre-workout that a lot of you would have heard of and they've actually just reformulated it. The name behind this company, a legendary. It's Centurion Labs. It's not their pre-workout, God of Fire. It's not their pre-workout, God of Rage. But instead, it's their third pre-workout in their lineup, God of War. And how much power is this product going to bring you guys in the real world? As we go through the usuals, the taste, the price, the label and the effects. Is it going to be the next pre-workout you decide to pick up? We're going to be finding that out for you as we go through it. So all we ask in return, guys, is please subscribe, like the video and drop your comments down below where you can. Have you tried that any previous versions of God of Wars or God of Fires, God of Flames, God of Rains, God of whatever? Have you tried any of them? Let us know in the comments below. Like I say, a legendary company. Is it going to hold up as they reformulate it again? Let's go. So, we're into the first segment, guys. Least important, probably. It's the taste and the mixability of the product. So, it comes in three different flavours. This one, God of War. Octavian Orange, Peach Tea. I wouldn't have been a massive fan of peach tea personally. And the one we've got, which actually would have been the one I would have chosen, is Blue Candy Slush, which I think, from memory, was the flavour I had in the previous iteration of this. So, it is really nice smell to it. Classical pre-workout, but nice. Nice and sweet. So it's 10.7 grams goo, which I can tell you is about flat in this, all right, guys? Into your shaker cup. We got one of these Hilo mix ones, which supposedly mix up better than a normal one, but we'll see. We'll see. So let's give it a go. So we've got a little bit of frothing, nothing major there. We've got some bit settling. It's hard to tell when the um, when it's sort of a white colour in the in the um, in the shaker, and I'm not too sure. I never really get lucky with these zooming in and focusing in. There's actually not a lot on the bottom there at all. In fact, I'd say that's really well mixed together. So it is only a relatively small scoop, but let's see how it does. Blue candy slush going down. It's really good. I've used it before, but for the sake of the camera, I'm gonna give you a smile. That is good. It's, um, does it truly taste like blue slush? I mean, I, mean, I guess it kind of does. But I'll tell you what it really reminds me of, bubble gum flavor. It really, really, I don't know if you've got these. It truly reminds me of molten down blue millions. Really nice. There's a slight bit of bitterness on the back end. And I do mean so slight. And for that, I'm happy to give this pre-workout taste score a 9.5 out of 10. I really like it personally. The missus liked it too. So, and she's a tough one to please with pre-workout flavours. But yeah, 9.5, really good. So that moves us nicely into our second segment of this review, the pricing of the product. How much is it gonna set you guys back? Do you need to get out a loan from the bank to get your hands on it? The answer actually is a very nice no in this case. So you'll head on over to the guys at Nutri Cartel, link in the description below where you can pick this product up and so many other really good products. They do have a really good range really good guys behind the company as well so and we generally find the price in there is very good as well so it gets a thumbs up immediately now you'll see this product on there and if you use our discount code review bros it knocks off a decent percentage dropping this container down to just $39.39 you get 25 full servings from a container of this stuff and when you do the math on that you divide it up I'll tell you, it comes in at just $1.50 per the go. 
We have a consistent pricing scale here at Review Bros, where a five out of 10 is what we personally consider in this day and age to be an absolutely bang average price for a product per serving. This one slips in very, very nicely in a seven out of 10. So it's actually a substantial amount cheaper than your average product, considering we're going halves, 5.5, 6, 6.5, 7. This one comes in really nicely. UK guys, for the sake of a clean transition, it would cost us just £1.22 per serving. You know the drill. That's a good, good price. So it's a thumbs up. <laughs> of course, we have to say it at this point in this review. Is it worth that price point, despite it being cheap? Are we getting something good for that money? Are we getting something that's okay for the money? Or are we getting a dud product? Let's get into the label and then skipping onto that, the effects, most important part. Let's move in. So that moves us into the label of this product. I'm gonna flash it up on the screen for you to see it right now. And as I mentioned, okay, you get 25 servings per the container and you get 10.7 grams per scoop. The label starts off with your vitamins, your minerals, nothing too fun, nothing too fancy, and nothing that you'll truly feel immediately 30 minutes later after for your pre-workout, okay? They're just in there for general bodily function, you know, muscle contractions, electrolyte balance. It's more of a health side effect. Nothing too fun, although I will say, however, niacin at 45 milligrams should in turn give us a nice in flush in which you will feel. It's like a, a reddening of the skin, almost like a rash. And don't sound too appealing, but it does give us that sense of urgency. And it generally works well with beta running to give you a real sense of itchy, tingly, let's go kill shit vibes anyway, for us personally. Let's get into the meat of this label. So we're looking at beta alanine, a very good dose of four grams, 800 milligrams more than you typically see. You're gonna get extra tingles from that. And of course it will help you build up to your saturation point a little bit quicker, and thus helping with endurance in training. We've got L-arginine, AAKG effectively, a gram. Could have seen it higher. I've also seen it lower. A gram is probably the minimum we'd accept. It gives you muscular contractions, deep, deep contractions within muscle cell. It also helps draw in moisture, nutrients to the muscle, and it helps with nitric oxide performance production as well. So it should help with pumping the gym. We've got agmatine sulfate, again, another way of boosting nitric oxide levels, helping with vascularity, vasodilation, getting stuff towards the muscle cell. Gram is a good dose. We've got DMAE, not to be confused with DMAA, which I've heard people do in the past. DMAE <laughs> is a nootropic, guys. It's a, a focus giver. It's going to give you, you know, the mental edge, the clarity and the concentration to help you keep focused in on your training session. We've got 450 milligrams of caffeine anhydrous, probably about 150 more than average. So it's a strong pre-workout in terms of energy, guys. Four and a half cups worth of coffee. That really should be ticking boxes for you stim junkies out there, we hope. We've got beta phenylethylamine HCO at a 300 milligram dosage again, PEA, giving you that concentration, firing up the synapses, neurons within the brain, giving you that that edge, that mental clarity, getting you in the zone, ready to kill whatever it is you're about to go and do. We got L-theanine at a low dose, 150 milligrams. You know, some people hate that ingredient if it's in a pre-workout at all. Us, we don't mind it, and we definitely don't mind it when it's a lot lower than the caffeine ratio. So it should help with anti-crash, a bit of anti-anxiety, and hopefully, sort of prolong that energy sense, we hope. We got isoprop norsinephrine at a 20 milligram dosage, the father to synephrine, ultimately a fat burner that's gonna help metabolize fat cells within the body, thus also giving you an energy drive, working with that caffeine. And we wrap this label off without a digestive aid, but instead with Hooperzine A at a 200 microgram dosage. Now that's been dubbed the learning chemical. Again, it helps more with the focus, clarity, zone visibility, getting you, getting you ticking, guys. Not energy, but mental energy. And that wraps the label off. I like it. I do like it a lot. Definitely more energy 
Well, I don't know, actually. You've got quite a bit of everything. No El Citroen in there. So pumps might, might be lacking. But the energy and focus for me look like they're going to be really good. Anyway, jump in the gun there. Let's get into the effects of this one. We now move into the most important part of this review, the effects of this product. It's the newest iteration of the God of War pre-workout by Centurion Labs. We've been lucky enough to review their new version of God of Rage, and I still believe we've got God of Fire to get reviewed. So they've got three different pre-workouts. Now, how does this one work in the real world, guys? Okay, so starting us off at the beginning. Something that was very apparent to me in God of Rage, at the very least, was that niacin flushing, that reddening of the skin, the tingling feeling that comes with it, like betralanine, and a slight couple of second burst, or a couple of minutes at the top, shall I say, of a, a stomachache, an intense stomachache that went away. It wasn't enough to distract me from the product or make me not use it again in the future. And I actually am mentioning that because I did expect it to come in with this product. We're looking at a 281% daily value of our niacin. Now, it didn't come in like God of Rage, so I'd give that a thumbs up. I actually didn't notice all too much at all from the niacin flushing side of things. So I'm sure most people agree with me. That's probably a good thing. Some people like that sense of niacin flushing beta alanine. The beta alanine wasn't as strong on this product as I've had perhaps in other products on the market. That being said, I still felt it to a respectable degree. I'd say six to seven out of 10 on the beta tingle scale. And we always start with that ingredient because 99% of the time, if it's in your product, it's the first thing you'll feel. And especially at a good dosage like it does have in this, I do think maybe a bit of black pepper would have amplified its effects. But we're, we're not all just here for beta alanine. In fact, some aren't at all. Some hate it. So if you don't like it, it's a thumbs up. If you do, it's still there. It's still there enough to get your tick in. Now, what comes in after that is actually a real nice sense of urgency. You're laying there or you're doing whatever chores you're doing, you're doing whatever you do before your pre-workout starts to kick in. And you just feel your heart rate start to come up, your central heating, your body temperature, your core temp start to raise. Things start feeling a bit, I don't want to say jittery because that's the wrong word, but they start feeling like things are firing up. Excuse the pun, not God of Fire, God of War. You feel like you're getting ready to battle. That's probably a good way of putting it. And I did. Each and every time I've used this, I felt like within 15 to 20 minutes after taking the product, I'm like, I want to get down the gym. you got to force your way 35 minutes because energy comes in real nice on this product. I wouldn't say it's a jittery slap you in the face energy like I would have expected from 450 caffeine. I think the L-theanine takes off the edge of that energy and actually does use it in a nice, consistent, productive way. The energy for me, really, really good on this product. It's not illicit, it's not heart rate, light's gone out, but we're going to keep on rolling. Energy is solid for me. I'd give the energy an 8.5 to a 9 out of 10. It's by no means not enough for your training session at hand. It carries you through for sure. And in fact, I'll be honest, I did have to drag myself away from training. So the energy is ample enough for training. You're only going to get a few people, stim junkies, that say they want a prolonged energy sense. But this one still gives me energy for a good three to four hours. Like I say, from a non-illicit standpoint, a non-grey area standpoint, it's got no, uh, some people argue, isoprop, norsenephrine. You know, it's going towards that for us, but only at 20 milligram dosage. But it definitely feels nice from an energy standpoint. Pumps, they're the, as to be expected, worst area from the product. And even then, they're not bad. They're not bad at all. And in fact, the muscle contractions are quite nasty. I always like AAKG. I know studies say that it's not very good or not the best type of pumpy contractional performance benefit based ingredient. But I've always had good results with it personally. Um, and I did feel that in training. So pumps for me, I'd still give them, again, probably like B-Trolinine, a 6 to a 7 out of 10. Like, 
you're not primarily here for the pumps. You're here for the high stim pre-workout. Savage pumps in the gym and the bedroom. Wolf pump. For me, there's, there's a couple of standout points from this product. You're probably guessing them already. The focus was very good. Really, really in the zone on this one. It gets you crushing, crushing stuff. And I don't want to say in an angry way, but you do, it, it comes over here with this product, a sense of productive, serious focus. It really gets you crushing weights. It gets you killing the training that you're putting your mind to in a very, very good way, guys. Um, I really like it. You do get some ups and downs with sense of mood elevation, with the downs being those serious, like, let's go crush it. I can picture it being if you're in a bad mood and you take this product, it's going to put you, keep you in that bad mood, but get you really, really, really killing those weights. And in terms, in on the other side of that coin, if you're in a good mood, I think it'll do the same, but from more of a mood elevated standpoint, it'll kind of amplify the feelings you've got on the day. That's what I've felt from it. I've used it five or six times now. I've really enjoyed it. It also gives me a very good drive and a very good sense of endurance and strength endurance at that. I felt strong on the stuff consistently, consistency throughout the training session. I, like I say, I had to drag myself away from training. I really enjoy the experience on this product. And for me, it gets at least a 9.5 out of 10. I can't pick any holes in it. I think the only hole some people might pick in it, and that this is, I'm talking, I'm talking less than 5% of the market. Market? 5% of the population out there where they want more illicit stims. But it's a strong pre-workout. It really is without having DMHA, DMA, AM, Citrate, you know, you name it in the product. It's very good. It's too strong for beginners. Intermediate users, be warned. I still think it's an advanced product. I'd still say it's it ha it's not bridging the gap between Daily Driver and Stim Junkie. I'd say it's a beginner level Stim Junkie product. It's on the stronger upper echelon of pre-workout caliber by today's standards. I thoroughly enjoy it. Now, what I will say, flavour for that effect score, fantastic. Price for that effect score, also fantastic. Do we recommend it? 100%. At that 7 out of 10 price score, worth it all day and night. All day and night and yearly and daily and monthly, you name it. It is very good. And the flavour just... Okay, we're not here for the flavour. I get it to a degree. To a degree but it also tastes banging. So we are laughing. I would heavily recommend this product. What do I think of it compared to God of Rage? T to be honest with you, mm, not a lot of difference. And that's what I personally think between the three of them. I don't see all, enough differences between them to for them to need three products, but that, that's my personal opinion. I think they're both freaking good. I'd say that actually God of Rage does get you a little bit higher, more euphoric. This one's not as euphoric. But I'd say this one is more of a a driven sense of focus and determination to kill training. Just. It's very close between the two, like seriously close. Like some people, if they were blind tested the stuff, they might not necessarily be able to tell the difference. It's It's very close. So yeah. Guys, it's at this stage, we thank Centurion Labs actually for sending it out direct. We do recommend go to Nutricartel. It's the cheapest place we found online personally. Thank you guys for watching at home. What do you think of this product? Have you tried anything from Centurion Labs? They're a legendary name known for bringing out hardcore products for a long period of time. They've been in the game for many years, longer than we've been reviewing products by probably quite a long way. So yeah, appreciate you watching. And as always, of course... Stay stimmed, got a war style.